I'm Nick. Here at Mahatma Gandhi University, Kotem, to meet Professor Dr. Sabu Thomas, Vice Chancellor of uh, Mahatma Gandhi University. He wrote uh, more than 200 books, wrote and edited more than 200 books, and uh, more than 1,000 uh, papers and 120 plus theses. I am currently at uh, Mahatma Gandhi University School of Chemical Science, which is uh, one of the largest in India. And uh, today I come to know that this is the first one in India and uh, IIT Kharagpur has become second in the number of polymer science. And it will help a uh, lot of people to understand that Kerala is God's own country, but uh, you can have polymer science education or uh, you know study, you can also do it in Mahatma Gandhi University. For me, I came, came here to have a visit to the university and understand the polymer technology, what the university have, and uh, we are going to meet today Professor Dr. Sabu Thomas, the Vice Chancellor of uh, Mahatma Gandhi University. I'm here at the cabin of Professor Dr. Sabu Thomas. He have received so much of accreditations and uh, awards from across the globe. And uh, there are so many books which is, he has published, like he published around uh, 203 books. And it is not easy for somebody to create 203 books. Because as I am the editor, I know how much time and effort it needs to create some content. Uh, Dr. Thomas published 120 theses and uh, 1,400 publications and more than 200 books. It is not easy for a human to write so much of book in a lifetime and it is a very good achievement for as I came from Kerala I should say that it is a very special achie achievement and also he mentored more than 100 PhD students and I special, especially thank Dr. Sabu for giving me this opportunity to come and see your facilities. It is my pleasure and privilege. Thank you Dr. Sabu and uh, team Mahatma Gandhi University. Jiru Joseph Global Group Editor of Modern Plastics TV and Modern Plastic Global Network here in God's Own Country, Kerala. And it is my pleasure and privilege to visit Mahatma Gandhi University. Here with me, Professor Dr. Sabu Thomas, who doesn't need any introduction globally. Welcome, Dr. Sabu Thomas, for joining Modern Plastics TV and Modern Business TV. Could you please tell us about the uh, recent latest activities of uh, Mahatma Gandhi University? Because when I came here, I felt so good that everything is well organized and it is a green campus. Sir, you wrote so many books, you edited so many books, you wrote so many articles, you empowered so many PhD people with uh, mentoring them, 125 of so I come to know from your team, 205 plus books and 1400 plus uh, articles. So how can you do all these things? Tell us about yourself, your family and uh, yourself and your journey to this uh, Vice Chancellor of Mahatma Gandhi University. That's a very interesting question you asked me. You know, I remember when I finished my PhD from the Indian Institute of Technology, Karakpur, back in 87, I got an industry position. A leading company, probably you might know, Bear India Limited, a West German company. I joined as a technical service officer after my PhD. That time, Mahatma Gandhi University opened a position in polymer chemistry. You know, I was really fascinated in getting into academia, in getting into hardcore research. I applied for this position. I came for an interview from Bayer India Limited, Mumbai. I was interviewed by our second vice chancellor of the university, Prasanta Murthy. Mahatma Gandhi University was nowhere at that time. You know, we had no recognition, no laboratory, no building. We were a rental building. Professor Murthy asked a very important question to me at the interview time. He asked me, Dr. Thomas, can you work in vacuum? Then he said, he continued, Dr. Thomas, we have nothing to offer you. We have no classroom. 
we have no sitting room right now, no laboratories. How can you build up a center of excellence? This is a question asked by Professor Ananda Murthy. It's a very challenging question. Within three, four minutes, I showed him a very good framework. My vision document I presented. He was so impressed. He appointed me as a lecturer in the university. Dear friends, colleagues, when I joined here, there was no room, no place to sit. I remember uh, 87, 88 time, we were all sitting in the uh, uh, department's room for several weeks, several months. And then we got a room and chair and table. You know, university was in a very bad state. But you know, I had a very strong vision document. I wrote to many laboratories in India and abroad to, for collaboration, networking. Several people supported me. I started my research program. I started a very active teaching process. I started with a humble beginning of three PhD students. One, sin, one was sent to Rubber Research Institute of India, a very big rubber center. Another one was sent to uh, NAST, the now NAST, that time RRL, Tivandrum, work in the area of plastics. And another one was uh, sent to, uh, again, rubber board. And we did excellent work. We started working very hard. I remember I used to sleep in the laboratory some days because we had to really work very hard. And with that humble beginning, you know, I expanded my group size. I traveled to North America, spent there two years, keeping my students here. That was, I remember, 89, 91. I used to work very hard there also. I used to characterize many samples of my students in, uh, from India. Slowly, slowly, I picked up. I started publishing quite extensively. I applied for lots of grants from government of India, companies. Dear colleagues, now you can look at where we stand now. Look at my number of publications, 1,200 publications. Number of books, 205 books. Number of PhDs completed, 122 PhDs completed. Number of book chapters, hundreds. If you, if you type Sabu Thomas in Google, you will see our productivity. Recently, the Carivage looked at which is the best place in polymer science in India. I am very pleased to tell you that Mahatma Gandhi University is number one in the country. We have defeated all the IITs and we became number one. Dear colleagues, friends, you might ask what is the reason for that? I was really committed. I was really excited to do high quality work. Even now when I publish a paper, I'm excited. When I get a new patent, I'm excited. When I get a new PhD student, a brilliant PhD student, I'm excited. So excitement drives me forward. I have a huge network worldwide. I work, you know, my approach is interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, transdisciplinary. I cooperate with physicists. I cooperate with hardcore chemists. I cooperate with electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, social scientists, economics. So I cooperate with a large number of people. That is why I could supervise more than 120 PhDs. I have PhD students in Malaysia, PhD students in France, PhD students in Australia, PhD students in um, uh, in Poland, PhD students in uh, Stockholm, you know, in Sweden. So I have a huge network. You name any country in the world, I have at least 10 to 15 academics as my collaborators. So this is really my success story. As you elaborated so much, what message do you want to give to the common man? Who is, you know, uh, normally average common man is in a question mark. So what message do you want to give to them? You see, my message to the common man is, is the following. India is a great country with a great potential. You know why? Because look at our demographic dividends. We have lots of young people in the country. The average age of an Indian person is 29. That of China is 40. That of United States is 39. That of Japan is close to 50. That of Europe is 51. So we have lots of young people. So the duty for each Indian person is transform our young children 
the ability to be strong global citizens. Educate them. And we all have to work, work extremely hard to transform our young people into globally skilled citizens. That is my message to all my Indian colleagues, all my friends. If you can do that, this country will be one of the best in the world. Thank you, sir, for giving us your valuable time and uh, throwing light on many things like not only polymers, environment, polymers, education, and we wish you all the best in the coming days. And I'm sure after retirement also you won't sit idle, you will be doing something new. We wish you all the best for the coming future and thank you so much once again for joining us. Thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you again. Let us build a very active cooperation between modern plastics and Mahatma Gandhi University. Thank, thank you. you.